Det er ikke glasur, det ligner det. Det er sterin. Det er sterin. Hold da op. Det er glasur, ja. Et fantastisk hul. Og det er lavet af en svensk kunstner, som står her, og han hedder Jonas. Kan du fortælle lidt om dit arbejde med det, Jonas? Yes. Hello Denmark and the world. Um, I will do this in English, because there are some folks out there who don't really understand the very important language of Swedish. Uh, <laughs> I tried to make it a world language, never worked. Um, yeah, I've, I w I've been invited by uh, School Snogen to put together this exhibition for this year. Um, but beyond putting together this show with a, a number of uh, uh, fairly um, different uh, international artists, I've also done a, a sculpture myself, or what I would call a non-sculpture. It is a hole, as you see, yeah. or an entrance. Some people say it's an entrance or an exit, but uh, the hole in this beautiful place, which is uh, these natural surroundings, it's very hard to put an artwork in there. and. Uh, The whole place is sculptural with the fallen trees and the stones and the topography and but the hole is not really included in that. Natural holes are looked upon with a bit of awkwardness and um, I wanted to create something which was both uh, uncomfortable but beautiful, fascinating and it was like beauty and fascination and fear and uncomfortable uh, feelings around it. Have you dug out the hole by yourself? Yeah. You have. Me and my wonderful assistant Elias yes. uh, um, spent a whole evening walking through the forest looking for the perfect spot for the hole. Um, then we did the simplest of ways. We took two shovels and a lot of time. Okay. I wanted the hole to be so big that it would feel uncomfortable and so deep that you could not see the end. Okay. And I will have to say the Danish ground It's terrible to dig in. <laughs> There is clay and sand. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, you'll have to fill it with candle lights. Yeah, like wax, candle wax. wax. Basically, this is all a very uh, analog um, uh, technique. After we made the hole, we, could, we put uh, concrete on the sides to make the, 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 the earth stable. So, yes. And then we simply took two cooking plates, a generator, 450 candles <laughs> and a long time. <laughs> If this is all done, um, the difficult part is patience and uh, and the, the wax, if it's too hot when you pour it, it just splashes down. If it's too cold, it gets stuck. So okay. you have to find a series of uh, melting moments. Okay. And it's done with teapots, it's done with um, the things you use to water your plants, with the casseroles, all kinds of things. Yes, yeah. and then the, 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 the very fantastic colors you have used. Yes. How was that made? Well, I wanted this to be somewhere between completely unnatural and natural. It's obviously, um, the colors I've chosen are almost on the edge of what you might call some odd psychedelic uh, situation. But I viewed it, I really viewed it as landscape painting. I wanted it, I mean, this is three-dimensional landscape painting. Um, and the, the colors, I noticed something very simple today. I came here and there was, the whole hole was full of insects. I see. Because they think it's a flower. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. So they all are attracted to it. And in yeah. the same way, it kind of works with people. It's a trap. Because many of these insects get stuck down there, which I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, insect world. 
but the same way with the people who come here, they are attracted to it, but also in fear. It's a, it's yeah, a yeah. wonderful ambivalence which I was looking for. Have you just splashed color <laughs> down, or what, what, how did it? No, it's a, it's a well. I mean, there are different layers. It might not look like it, but there are many, many layers, and you have to to get the dripping to work properly. You have to be like have the right cooling and the right um, pipe to get into the corners to pour this one. You might want to see. It's actually two weeks ago. I was in Bavaria and I was to the constructed um, drop uh, stone cave of Ludwig II of Bavaria, okay. the, the Dream King, and I, I sort of wanted to have the, a little bit of similar effect. I see. And um, it, I was hoping for a little bit what we, is called vertigo in uh, English. Yes. Swindel uh, in Swedish. Vertigo, is you, you, uh, yeah, that it makes you dizzy yeah. when you just look into it. It's like you're almost about to fall into it. I see. Yeah. So, uh, parents, count your kids before going home. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure thing.